Well, what are we fixing today? Today is a day we work on the tractor. It's been freaking years because I've been just, I, you know, sometimes you get frustrated with things and you don't find a way out until you decide you need a way out. Now, this trailer here, I need out by the end of the uh, September or so. I need that. And the tractor is in front of it. And the tractor tire here is flat. So I need to fix this so I can move this and get that. We're also going to have to fix some bumper hitch stuff. So more to come. Today we're going to work on the tire. And the tire is... Ooh, look at that. Look at that, Mama. Is it alive? No. Nope. Not alive. Okay. That's good. There might be some murder hornets in here somewhere, I don't know. But this is a... What is the size? Yeah, the size is right there. 13.6 by 28 tire. And a rim that goes all the way around. I have to pop it off because if you look around here there's some rot but if you look where is it? here there's a hole and this hole has rubbed the tube so I need to push this back get the tube out replace it and then over the top of this wherever it's sharp I need to do something to make sure it's not sharp it doesn't actually have to be sealed it just has to be not sharp. So that's what we're going to work on today. I have tried removing the bolts. And then I was thinking like, okay, I removed the bolts and then I take it off the rim. But I'm like, what in the hell? I don't know. You see people online beating on these with sledgehammers as hard as they can. But uh, I found something online. It's an Amazon product, so we'll see if it works. It's supposed to be able to take these off the rim and I don't have to do a lot of taking off the rim kind of thing I just have to get it somewhat off the rim just the front part really so I can reach in here so it is currently jacked up or at least on jack stands and a block of wood under there so I gotta raise it up some more because it has sunk into the ground so we're going to raise it up, get this wheel so it spins, use the magic tool to try to pop this out. And if we get past that, then we're going to start fixing it and putting it back together. So let's try that. All right, this is the thing I bought. And yes, I bought it from the warehouse because that's where I buy almost everything. I need to open it up and see what size wrench I need for this. These are the directions, they have a big caution on it. I wonder what it says. This is the thing. All I have is a silver socket that size. The uh, impact socket. I'm going to be putting an impact on it, so let's see how that goes. Now we got to jack this up. Checked it up from here before. This is the bucket.
pounds. This is half of it. Jack is loose, tire is loose. Okay. So the next step is up here. I have to remove the valve stem from the tube because, yeah, there's a hole in the inner tube, but it is a slow leak. And I, you can't have any back pressure on you when you're doing this. Start like right here. So I need this. There's a oldie but a probably not so goodie. Let's make sure this is in all the way. Now well, even there. That's out of the way. Get this here ish. I'm gonna pound this in, I believe. further. this I have good old trusty yep and it's a Silver socket on a on a uh, impact. What? Sorry.
exciting. Thank you, Vihor. I know there was a pin in there. I know there was a pin in. So, on the first use, I have the first failure. I either sheared that pin or it just fell out. Oh, it just fell out. Here it is. Pin just fell out. Oh, lovely. Isn't she lovely? So what happened was this pin here fell out. Not that it wasn't fixable, but why should it be happening? Gotta go higher now.
Okay. And I looked as I was coming out, I saw the hole. All these chunks of shit were in there before. Here's the hole. And it was, this is right where that hole was. And the other stuff. So, this kind of blistered out and just blew. Now, how do I clean this up? Because there is a ton of shit in there. I, I'm gonna have to pop the other one loose. I don't see a way around it. So, I guess, let's go. Easier on the other side, eh? One grab.
Okay. Off. Look how much shit was inside there. All parts of the rim. That's all gonna be cleaned out. This has got three holes in it. I'm gonna take the rest of this off and who knows, I might find some more. Wire brush this up. Try to treat it. Paint it. Might be another hole under there. I'm gonna do all that offline. And I'll show you what we're gonna do about these. Because right here is where it bolts through and two broke. So, as you can tell here, I've given it the old Earl of Scheib rehabilitation. I got three holes. I got a little hole there, I don't know if you can see it. Right there. So, I cleaned it as best as I could, washed it with some solvent, painted it with a brown uh, rust, rusty primer, painted it with a white primer, and then painted it with orange. Now, if it's painted with orange, and that's all it's chalmers, you know it's got to be good. So that's all it needs. I have then, in the house and got, Gorilla Tape Weather Patch. This stuff is sticky. And why I'm using this is not to uh, seal air at all. It's just to keep water from getting back and rusting this out some more as much as possible. This stuff is sticky, sticky. There's a chunk. Let's use this one here. this hole. Okay, so we got this. We got this. I have to try to hold it down somehow. So I think I'm just going to go find some duct tape. Tape the edges. Once the tube's in here, this certainly isn't going to move. I just, when I put the tube in, the tire in, and all that, I got to keep this down where it belongs. Well, we got a battery in the phone. So, don't know where you left off. But what I did was I put down some Gorilla Seal Tape to make sure that the holes don't leak water back up. I laid down a piece of sheet aluminum and taped that down to make sure that the tube doesn't bolt through. And now I have to create a new hole for the valve stem to come out. Can get a rustle on one side of the tire.
Oh, it's on, but my foot's stuck. <laughs> okay, on. Now the tube has to go on. I'm gonna try to stuff this in there. Best I can, not getting it pinched. Wow, that is so much not, not fun. All right, air check, locking air check. This is kind of a dangerous air check. It's got a lock on it. You have to watch it. Check if it's on in the back. It is. I don't hear any air seeping out. I think that's it. Well, that's going to be the end of the day. It's getting late anyway. Uh, so this has seven and a half pounds of air in it. Come back in a couple days and check it, make sure it's okay. And uh, you know, if not, then I got to take it all apart again, fix the tube. Uh, I found in the other side it's still full of calcium chloride, so I can't really check that one to compare it. So that's happening. Anyway, thanks for watching. Give me a like if you think you learned something. If you have any questions, because I couldn't film it all really well, uh, let me know. Uh, I'll tell you how I wrestled this tire on. You kind of watched some of it, but it was a problem. Um, 
take a look at what the patches look like. That uh, Gorilla Tape is sticking out there and I'm thinking about I might put some epoxy in the top just to fill it in and protect it a little more. But that's it for today. Uh, next time we'll see what we can do about going for a tractor ride soon, hey? Eh? Since it should be working. Uh, until next time, always make sure you know what tube you put in your tire. Bye.